several governments across the world have been compelled to implement the tracking bracelet system, with arriving passengers and residents on quarantine. This is as a result of people violating quarantine rules while the number of cases continue to rise. So what are the capabilities of these bracelets and can they alleviate the spread of COVID-19 by preventing people from breaking quarantine restrictions? Countries such as Bulgaria, Singapore, Hong Kong, South Korea and Bermuda have adopted these electronic devices as a way to control the spread to and within their borders. Much closer to home, Bermuda, for example, requires visitors who test positive to wear tracking bracelets and submit to tests on day 3, 7, and 14 of their stay. These electronic sensors can collect health data from the wearer, monitor their heart rate and temperature, and alert authorities when they violate quarantine. Elsewhere, on October 1, 2020, visitors to the Cayman Islands are required to wear the I am safe geofencing and monitoring device for 14 days to replace the mandatory quarantine. Regardless of the capabilities of the bracelets, each country's intention is to reduce the risk of the spread. Locally, Antigua and Barbuda will soon implement bracelets to ensure individuals remain at home during quarantine period. There are currently 41 non-imported cases of the virus in this country. The Ministry of Health continues to encourage vigilance as we all do our part to limit the spread of the dreaded disease. This is Kim Emanuel Baird reporting for ABS News.